Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a review of the Twisby Eco Jade fountain pen with a stub nib. And words cannot describe how much I actually love this pen. It's affordable, high quality, writes like a dream, holds a ton of ink. I love the colour, which in all fairness is coming up a bit blue. Let's hold it nearer the camera and yeah it's, st it's still blue we've got a lot of daylight coming in it's december and the daylight coming in is a bit um a bit bluish but in income well it's not incandescent light anymore it's all banned isn't it um but in if you like artificial light it is a nice color of pale jade for those people who know what jade is like it comes in a whole load of different colors typically various shades of green um and this i'd say is a bit more sort of jadeite jade rather than nephrite jade for the mineralogists amongst you right special color for 2022 twisby eco in jade and it was everything that everyone had been hoping for nice color and everyone thought it'd glow in the dark. And sadly it doesn't. And I think Twisby listened to the fountain pen community and rather quickly followed it up with a glow in the dark Twisby Eco, which unfortunately isn't a nice green colour like this. It's not this nice pale jade, um, which looks quite, I'd say quite a 30s sort of uh, colour for rooms, uh, bathrooms, that type of colour. Um, the glow in the dark one is just a kind of green that glows in the dark. Um, this jade, Twisby Eco Jade, sadly does not, which is a real shame. Um, I was hoping it would, and then I saw the reviews and it was like, oh, no, it's a shame. But yeah, it, it, it doesn't. It does not glow in the dark. Semi-translucent. It's your typical Twisby Eco. So we've got a nice, solid, very stiff... I can't eat. I've got no fingernails basically left because I've been cutting them a bit short. Um, very stiff clip. The rather garish red plastic Twisby logo inserted into the uh, cap at the top, as always. Hexagonal. Hexagonal? Yeah, it's always hexagonal. <laughs> um, metal cap band, hexagonal cap. Solid, solid pen. People still go on about them cracking, but, you know, I've never experienced that. However, your mileage may vary. Um, and Twisby are apparently very good at getting back to you if you have any issues. There's O-rings all over the place, which hold the cap on and various other things. There's an O-ring up here, so you can pop that up there so you can write with it posted and it doesn't fall off it's very secure um yeah back heavy awful experience much more pleasurable to write unposted screw cap always a screw cap on the twisby eco which of course has the twisby eco taiwan engraved on it or etched whatever it is cap on unscrews in less than one turn which is absolutely fantastic so really really good quick draw screw cap fountain pen never any issues with hard starts with these pens so let's do a writing sample because this is really good this is why i love this so much Dub nib. Make sure you can still see this. Look at that huge difference with the 
with this stub nib. It's fantastic and wet, really, really juicy. Um, the ink is Diamine Cool Green. Which in this pen is a lovely, lovely colour. I've used Diamine Cool Green in many other fencing pens over the years. And it can be a little bit meh. meh. Just not, not great. Um, in this pen, because it is so wet, lays down so much ink. I'm not even doing this to the best of its ability. There we go. So much ink, you get really good colour and really good, really good shading. Fantastic. So, yeah, absolutely love these stub nibs from Twisby. And absolutely love this fountain pen. This is really good. It's piston filler. You get the usual thing, little wrench so you can dismantle the pen instructions. Little pot of very light silicone grease to grease up the internal mechanism if you need to, which I generally don't bother with, but I do recommend because Twisby piston rings tend to be quite tight you don't get ink past the piston rings um and they can be a bit stiff when you're cleaning the pen you're twisting this cap up here quite a lot pushing the piston up and down and trying to clean it out and that is the only thing that i kind of dislike i, I, I like piston filling pens but at the end of the day they can be a bit of a pain to clean um but the Twisby Eco Jade, absolutely love it. And absolutely love the stub nib. Um, I've always tended to go for medium or broad nibs with Twisby fountain pens. And they are interchangeable. You can very carefully pull out the nib and feed. But it's a bit fragile, the feed. You can pull them out and swap them. So you get a collection of, fountain, of Twisby fountain pens, the Ecos. And you can swap the nibs between them. So you, you do have options. Um, yeah, steel nib. I think do extra fine to the stub. So fine, extra fine, fine, medium, broad stub. Lots of options there. Plenty for everybody. So really fantastic. Excellent value. Very good quality fountain pen. So that is the Twisby Eco Jade. And would I, yeah, would, would I buy more of the Twisby Eco's? Hell yeah, <laughs> they're good. I really like them. I, I've really started to absolutely love these fountain pens and it's, it's sometimes nice to have the different colours and go, oh, okay, yeah, I wonder what nib size this is. Oh, it's a, it's a medium or it's a broad. They're fine, really, really good writers. Very consistent, never any hard starts. You can leave these because of this O-ring here, just at the... There's no step up. You can't feel the threads or anything. The section's round and comfortable and also transparent. Lovely. You can see all the ink, all the workings. Yeah, really, really, really good quality pens. I love them. So, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.